Welcome to Gel Printing July. So usually I, most of the times I apply my uh, paint on a gel plate using a brayer. But uh, today I thought to uh, try out a brush. I know that it works, but uh, I want to play a little bit with the, um, with the texture that the brush itself creates. And um, of course you can also not use a gel plate and just use a brush <laughs> like normally when you're painting but it does i think um the the gel plate does give an extra kind of a texture so um we'll see how that goes today but um that's what i want to do um here i have a, a, a very simple bristle brush this is a one inch and um, i like to use that because i do want really want to see the the um, texture of my brush strokes so i'm not using the softest softest brush but well this is not so hard that it will <laughs> that it will damage my plate of course and i wanted to um, create some simple masks sh uh, some simple shapes um, to get a bit of a contrast between yeah the the um, texture of my brush strokes and then the the negative space around it so i have some simple um, printer paper here and i'm not going to plan this or anything i'm just just going to create some simple shapes let's see and I'm, I'm ripping it. Of course, I can also use scissors, but I thought it could be fun to not make it that um, hard of a line, but more the torn edge. So we'll see. So then we get a shape like this for here. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of a tip, although I have a tip there. So perhaps I would want it to be like this. So I'll start with this and then I can create more shapes and use that on uh, other parts of the gel plate. I'm just going to play with some of my favorite paints. This is a paint that I mixed myself. And, and I will list all the paints in the description. And let's get a bit of this. So my brush is still dry. It's quite a hot day today, so I have to work quickly, I think. <laughs> so I'm just mixing this up. I think that could look really nice. And just take some paper towel to dab off some of the paint. Let's see what it looks like from the other side. Yeah. So you can really see the brush strokes. I like that. That's that what was what I was going for. So that's uh, so far so good. Now let me create another mask.
I do think that next time I would like to uh, plan it out a little bit more, those uh, shapes. So that could be something for next time. Let's make a long one. See if I can squeeze it in somehow, somewhere. Maybe a bit too wide already, so I can just cut it in half. without damaging that one and this one. Let's see. Well, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Let's get some blue. That's a pity, I damaged it here. I didn't pay attention. Oh well. Maybe I can add a little bit just with my brush. We'll find out if that worked. It do looks kind of intriguing, like uh, as if they are cocoons or pods or something like that. <laughs> so let's try to do some long thin shape there. I'm going to try. Let me remove the paper around it. <laughs> so that hopefully I'm not damaging everything. Still too wide. <laughs> I need a very thin shape. This way. Okay. Let's go lengthwise again. Yeah, I think this is nice. <laughs> Yeah, we'll definitely see the, the brush strokes, so that's really fun. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, clean up everything here, and then uh, we can prepare uh, the print. Okay, so I think this is dry enough. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then uh, I'll come back to pull this print. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Yeah. This worked really well. Let's see if I can remove this. I do like those edges that they stand up here um, because that gives it a kind of, of 3D effect. It shows that there's a paint layer here on top and that it's not just a print from a machine or anything. So it worked really well. I'm sure you can see that also on the camera. Um, yeah, it's really fun. So, of course, this is a very simple application of this technique. And, uh, of course, you and I, we can go as crazy as we would like with this. But um, for now, this is, this is just what I wanted. And 
yeah, it, <laughs> it turned out really great. They do remind me of cocoons or pods or something like that. So that's really interesting. So yeah, I hope you uh, had fun watching this, that it uh, inspires you to uh, get out your gel plate and uh, start playing with this technique or any of the other techniques that I have been uh, filming for Gel Printing July. If you enjoyed watching it, you would really help me by uh, giving this video a like and uh, subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos. A big thank you to my uh, patrons because uh, those uh, make this whole initiative happen. And uh, I'll see you back tomorrow for a new video.